Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm a little late. Okay, but the, the people in the previous class had questions, so I had to answer the questions. So, okay, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you, but first, let me uh, just find the presentation. Uh, over here. Just a moment. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, here we go. Just a second. Okay. So, uh, sharing the screen with you now. There it is. First things first, I'm going to call you on the attendance list. Okay, when you hear your name, let me know. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejia. Good evening, teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tovar. Present teacher. Thank you. Toribel Arelí Arriaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Are you here? Herbert Tadán Miranda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth. Acá la veo. Okay. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present, teacher. Thank you. 
Marina Esmeralda Martinez Ramos. Presente, present. Ok, thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm calling those who haven't answered. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Teacher, eh, Rebeca Abigail escribió en el WhatsApp que se encontraba en mal de salud. No iba a estar presente en la clase. Ok, ok. Thank you very much. Ok. Um, Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, let's begin. In the chat, we have uh, Jacqueline Elizabeth. No dice acá. Okay. Dice, no sé si ya me mencionó Jacqueline Elizabeth. Sí, ya la mencioné. Ya está su asistencia tomada como presente. Sí, ya me la mencionó. A Esmeralda Isabel. Sí. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, let's continue. Okay, everybody, take a good look. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Modulo 3. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session number seven, and today's May 31st of 2023. What are we going to do today? Take a good look. Lesson objective. In this session, a conversation will be played where a waiter and a customer use modal verbs such as would and will for requests. En esta clase se escuchará una conversación donde se, se oye, digamos, al mesero y al cliente usar verbos modales tales como would and will, sería me gustaría, para hacer peticiones. So, what is that? There's a conversation. I need two volunteers for this. Please, two volunteers to read the conversation. Ruth and Jaime. Okay, Ruth, uh, I want you to read the waiter part and Jaime, please read the customer part. Okay, teacher, um, may I take your order? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like the last kebab. Can you say the pronunciation? Kebabs. Kebabs. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like the la kebab. All right. And um, would you like a salad? Yes. Um, I no. I uh, no, I I have my a mixed and green salad. I have a mixed green salad. A uh, mixed green salad. Okay. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? You like? We have blue cheese and uh, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia vin vinagre? Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large item to you, please. Okay, thank okay. you. All right, okay. the waiter says, may I take your order? Okay. The customer says, yes, I like the lamb kebabs. The waiter says, all right. And would you like a salad? Le gustaría una ensalada? The customer says, yes, 
I'll have a mixed green salad. The waiter says, okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. The customer says, blue cheese, please. The waiter says, and would you like anything to drink? The customer says, yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Before we proceed, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this conversation? ¿Hay alguna duda sobre el vocabulario en la conversación? Eh, vinagre, teacher. Okay. Uh, you mean vinaigrette, es la vinagreta. Okay. Okay, Salvador Enrique. Veamos, levantemos la mano siempre. Okay. I don't understand the word lang, lang, kebabs. Kebabs. Son los pinchos. Pinchos. Esos son los kebabs. Son oh, ok, thank you. Ok, son pinchos de carne de cordero. Ok, lamb kebabs. Mm -hmm. That's lamb kebabs. Ok. Uh, Luis Fernando Linares. Uh, yeah, um, I. Uh, what is the pronunciation that the contraction the I will and I will? Ok. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look. So this is either the equivalent of I will, and then you have I'll the equivalent of I will. Okay, so the pronunciation is I'd, I'd. And the other one is I'll, I'll. I'd and I'll. So in this case, you say I'd like, I'd like, okay? And the customer also in the second line says, yes, I'd like the lamb, kebabs. Okay, any other questions about the vocabulary, the expressions or the pronunciation of certain words? Do you have any other questions? No question, teacher. No more questions. Okay, then let's continue. Okay, the lesson objective. In this session, the student, sorry, in this session, the use of the modal verbs would and will for request will be taught. En esta sección o en esta clase, el uso de los verbos modales would and will para ofrecer y pedir será explicado. So let's take a good look at this, everybody. Pay close attention. Here's the grammar focus, okay? You have some modal verbs would and will for requests. The first thing that we need to know is that there are several modal verbs, okay? Just a moment. Okay, there's a list of modal verbs. So these modal verbs include, take a look, just a moment. Okay, they include can, the negative can't, sorry. Hmm. Okay, so you have can and can't, you have will and the negative form want. You have may, might, could, and the negative form couldn't. You have should. You have would, have to, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are models. Okay, these are models. And the models we're going to study today, okay, are uh, would and will, specifically, okay? Ah, another model is must. That's another one. So the ones that we're going to be studying today here are will, okay, for offers and requests, and also would, in this case, would like. So 
Model verbs would and will for requests. So you have the first question. What would you like? Okay. What would you like? ¿Qué le gustaría? Ordenar, por supuesto. ¿Qué le gustaría ordenar? What would you like? Possible answers include, I'd like the lamb kebabs. Me gustaría, ¿verdad? O me gustarían, ¿verdad? Los pinchos de carne de cordero. I'd like the lamb kebabs. Or I'd have the small salad. But now look at this. I'll have. That's another way of requesting something. You can request something by saying, I will have. And that works. What about the next one? What kind of dressing would you like? What's the meaning of dressing, by the way? ¿Qué significa dressing? Okay, Saúl Alexander. Salsa. Es como el aderezo, ¿verdad? Okay, that's aderezo, the dressing. Uh -huh. Ajá, el aderezo. Uh -huh. Very good. So what uh -huh. kind of dressing would you like? ¿Qué tipo de aderezo? Uh -huh. So you say, I would like, or I'd like the blue, sorry, blue cheese, please. Or I'll have vinaigrette. Okay? I'll have. Es otra forma de decir, ¿verdad? Lo que usted va a pedir o va a ordenar. I'll have vinaigrette. Uh, Esmeralda Isabel, do you have a question? No, a decir que aderezo significaba. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, what would you like to drink? That's the next question. What would you like to drink? And then the possible answers are, I'd like an iced tea or I will have coffee. Same pattern. The last question is, would you like anything else? Okay, it's a yes, no question. So you say, yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That will be all. Esa es una expresión. Cuando usted dice, that will be all. Solo eso. That will be all. And the contractions work like this. You use I'll means I will. And I've means I would. Now, what's next in here? Take a look. You say, would you like to, and do you like? So offering something. You can say, would you like a salad? What would you like to drink? What would you like to do next weekend? Requesting something. You say, yes, please. I'd like a salad. The next one is, I'll have some orange juice, please. And I'd like to go to the movies. And there's an example here. You can see the drawing. She's asking, would you like some tea? And he says, yes, please. So she is offering. When she's offering something, or when you are offering something, you can use, would you like this and that. We're going to do this exercise right here. Would you like to? What do you say to Sue in these situations? You have to use would you like to and the words in parentheses. You have the first one. You want to go to the movies tonight. You hope Sue will go too. Now, usted quiere ir al cine esta noche y espera que Sue vaya también, ¿verdad? Quiere invitar. Entonces, ¿cómo, le va, ¿cómo la va a invitar? ¿Cómo le va a hacer esa petición? Esa oferta, más bien. Using, would you like? This is what you need to use. Would you like? So, what is it? Let's see who can tell me. Wendy Lisset, Carillas, de Cedillos. Would you like to go to the movie tonight, Sue? Okay. Would you like to go to the movies tonight, Sue? <laughs> yeah, correct. Thank you, Wendy. That's right. Would you like to go to the movies? Okay. What about number two? You want to play tennis tomorrow. You hope Sue will play with you. So what do you say? You said, would you like? Braulio, Braulio Heriberto Velasquez Mejia. Um, would you 
to play tennis soon? Okay, let's take a look at something, something that I have to explain. A modal auxiliaries, okay, like wood, you have it here. Okay, look, after a modal auxiliary verb, you must use a verb in base form, okay? Después de un modal auxiliary, tiene que ocupar un verbo en forma base. Okay, so, can you repeat okay. it, Braulio? Okay, um, would you, um, would, would you play? Would you like, right? Would you like play? Would you like to play? Would you like um, to play? Uh huh. Tennis tomorrow soon. Okay. Would you like to play tennis tomorrow or tennis with me? Okay. So yeah. Okay. Very good. What about number three? Thank you, Braulio. You have some vacation pictures. Sue hasn't seen them yet. So what do you have? Jaime Adonai. Would you like... No, sorry. <laughs> that is, that is would, correct. Yes. Would you like to see... to vacation with me? Or... Va see vacation, vacation pictures, right? Would you like to see my vacation pictures? Okay. That's correct. Would you like to see my vacation pictures? Thank you, Jaime. Number four, you have an extra ticket for a concert next week. You hope Sue will go with you. So what do you say, Saul Alexander? Saul Alexander? Would you like to go to concert next, next week? Would you like to go to a concert with me next week? Okay, that mm -hmm. sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Saul. And number five, it's raining and Sue is going out. She doesn't have an umbrella, but you have one. So you say, then you have the verb borrow. What about that one? Who can tell me? Jaime Adonai. Would you like uh, the pronunciation borrow? Borrow. Is, is it correct? Yes, borrow. Borrow, okay. Would you like borrow? Okay, would you like? Would you like? Falta algo ahí. Would you like? Would you like tomorrow to borrow? Would you like to borrow? Okay. Borrow. Sorry. Would you like to borrow? To borrow is going out. Mm -mm. Would you like to borrow what? Borrow. Rain and why is going out. Mm, no, oh. not exactly. No, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Jaime, who wants to do number five? Raise your hand. Saul Alexander, and then Wendy Lisette. Would you like to borrow an umbrella? An umbrella, or you can say my umbrella. Would you like umbrella. to borrow my umbrella? Te gustaría tomar mi paraguas prestado, o que te preste mi paraguas. So, would you like to borrow my umbrella? That is right. Very good. So that's the first one, would you like? What about the second one, okay? Make the following requests, okay? Use the words in parentheses. So ask for a Caesar salad. Say please, pero esta vez ocupando would like. Remember, this is not an offering. Don't say, would you like? No, no, no. This time you are requesting something. So what do we have? Hi, Melanie. As for a cash and salad, say please. Es como ordenar la oración, ¿verdad, Ticho? Ajá. No hay que ordenarla. Just 
más bien le están dando la situación, las circunstancias y de ahí usted tiene que eh, hacer la oración. Okay. Eh, well, well, like, well, like, as who, for I'm. Who would like? Who like? Who? Who like? No, Answer. No, necesitamos siempre comenzar las oraciones con el sujeto. Entonces. I would like. I would like. I would like. As for Caesar salad, sell please. A uh, Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Did you say, I like a Caesar I would salad? I like a Caesar salad. Please, okay. I like a Caesar salad, please. I like a Caesar salad. Okay, now uh, Wendy Lisette and then Saul Alexander. So, Wendy, number two. Ask for a personal pepperoni pizza. Say please. This time you have to use will. I will a personal pepperoni pizza, please. Okay, faltó el verbo ahí. I will. I will. Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -mm, not like. I you will. Use... Uh -huh. I will want. Mm -mm. It is different. Mm. I don't know, teacher. Okay, maybe somebody can help us. Ruth Marielos. Ah, so, sorry, so, uh, oh, okay. Sí, uh, Ruth, sí. Ruth Marielos. No, okay. está bien, el, el compañero. Oh. Okay, okay, sorry. Saul Alexander, what do you have? The microphone? I will have a personal pepperoni pizza, please. I will have a person. Uh, ah, me faltó la palabra personal ahí. Eh. Vamos a agregar. Yes, I will have a personal pepperoni pizza, please. Okay, I will have. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Uh, Ruth Marielos, number three, ask for a mochaccino. Say please. I like uh, for mochaccino, please. The preposition for is not necessary. So you say, I like a mochaccino, please. And only that. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carillas de Cedillos, number four, ask for a croissant. Say please. I will have a croissant, please. I will have a croissant, please. Okay, thank you. And number five, uh, Jaime Adonai, ask for a cup of chai tea. Say, please. I will like. I will like is not possible. And, and will like. Mm -mm. And, uh... Remember, you use will with have and like with would. Will and and no, and will like. Mm -mm. No, sorry, Jaime. Who can sorry. help us? It's okay. Braulio Heriberto. Um, I like a uh, have a cup of JT, please. I like, me ocupó muchas palabras. Tratemos de reducirlo. I like, what do you, what would you like? Um, I, yo ver, no, como es, would like, is, I have, mm. no, I like, I would like, uh huh. I would like her uh, chai tea, please. Okay, but what exactly is it that you would like? Let's keep an opportunity here. Esmeralda Isabel. Um, would you like to ask for a cup of chai tea? But it's not a question. Ah, sí, no es la cinco. Sí, es la cinco, pero no es una pregunta. Ah. Es una petición. 
me, me I ask for a cup of tea, of tea, of tea, tea? But you need to use would like. Okay. Ah, I would like to I I would like to ask for a cup of tea. tea. Okay, you can say that. I would like to ask, but normally when you are ordering, you say what you're going to buy directly instead of saying I would like to buy. So uh, thank you, Esmeralda. Let's give an opportunity to Fernando. Number five, ask for a cup of chai tea. Say please. Um, probably I would like a cup of chai tea, please. I'd like a cup of chai tea, please. Yeah, that's correct. I'd like a cup of chai tea, please. Very good. Okay, so what's next? Give me, give me just, uh, just, okay, Braulio Roberto, do you have a question? Teacher, sorry. Yes. Eh, yo pensé que como era, como es una, eh, como petición, ¿verdad? No llevaba la el verbo have, o sea, que necesito, no, que ver, um, no, eh, have es de tener, creo, ¿verdad? Have es tener. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea que, va, por ejemplo, allí el verbo que se está ocupando solo es like. O, o, ¿En cuál? En la, en la cinco, en la última. O sea, solo... Like, uh -huh. like es el verbo principal. I would like. Would is the model, like is the main verb. I'd like mm. a cup of chai tea, please. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Any other questions that you might have right here? No questions. Okay, let's move on then. Here's the knowledge check 3.11. Ya adelantamos bastante con esto. So the knowledge check goes like this. Instructions, read the following conversation. Choose between the options given. De a la siguiente conversación, escoja entre las opciones dadas. Okay. So the waiter says, what will you have to order or what would you like, sorry, what would you like to order or what would you like to order? So that's what we're going to do right here. It's the same exercise that it's in the book. So here we go. Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Can you give me just one minute, please? Un momentito, please. Sorry, I had a small emergency. Okay, so uh, the waitress says, what, what is the question? Esmeralda Isabel. Una, una cuestión, eh, quisiera de nuevo invitarles a todos a que participen, ¿verdad? Como les digo, siempre veo que participan las mismas personas. Participa Saúl, participa Wendy, participa Jaime, participa Braulio. Pero se vuelven los mismos siempre. Eh, tengo muchos alumnos en esta clase, ¿verdad? Y me gustaría también escuchar la participación de los otros. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, so, what do you have? The waitress says, what? Mm -hmm. Saúl Alexander. What would you like to, do, to order? What would you like to order? Okay, thank you very much. Wendy. I will have the fried chicken. I will have the fried chicken. And the waitress says, that's correct. Okay, Jaime. Would you like rice and um, potatoes? Would you like rice or potatoes? Okay. Potatoes, sorry. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Would you like rice or potatoes? The customer says, potatoes, please. And then the waitress says, and this is for Marina Esmeralda. Can you read it? Yes. What kind of potatoes would you like? What kind of potatoes would you like? Thank you. Mashed, baked, 
or French fries. And the customer says, Ruth Marielos. I would like mashed potatoes. I would like mashed potatoes. Okay, very good. So I would like mashed potatoes. Thank you. What about the waitress? What does the waitress say? I need a volunteer, please. Wendy Lisette, Carillas. Okay, and would you like anything to drink? And would you like anything to drink? Okay, good. So, uh, Carla Abigail and then Claudia Maria. The customer um, says. I guess I will have a cup, a cup of coffee. I guess I will have a cup of coffee. That's right. That's correct. Very good. Okay. So, um, Ma Claudia Maria and then Marina and then Saul. So, uh, Claudia Maria, what does the waitress say? Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Okay. That's correct. Would you like anything else? And the customer says, okay, uh, Marina? No, that. That will be all of for now. Thanks. No, that will be all for now. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. What about later? Later on on that day. Okay. The waiter. The waitress says, "Who can help me with this one, please?" Saul Alexander. Would you like dessert? Would you like dessert? Okay, you can say that. Would you like dessert? Thank you. What about the customer? The customer says, yes, I, blah, blah, like ice cream. So, uh, Ruth Marielos. Yes, I would like ice cream. Yes, I would like ice cream. Okay, very good. So what about the waitress? What does the waitress say? Carla Abigail. And what flavor would you like? What flavor would you like? Flavor. Okay. What flavor? The que sabor. So what flavor would you like? And the customer says, Jaime. Mm, I will have chocolate, please. I will have chocolate, please. Okay. I will have chocolate, please. And the waitress says, okay, I'll bring it right away. Right away means immediately, by the way. It's right here. Okay, when you hear the expression right away, that means now. Okay, now, in this moment. That's the meaning of right away. Now or immediately. Okay. Now, uh, some extra exercises. We use one or more words to complete this conversation between a server and a customer. The server says, may I take your order? And the customer says, yes, I will have the beef with potatoes. What about the server? I need a, vol a volunteer to read this, please. Saul Alexander. Is the server? Yeah, the server. What kind of dressing would would you like on your salad? French. What kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, French blue, cheese, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? Or vinaigrette. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Okay. So the customer says, hi, Mel and I. Would you like French, please? Would you like French, please? Mm, no, it's actually different. Thank you, Jaime. Um, uh, Luis Fernando. Um, I will like French, please. I will like. Is that what I heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, no, it's not I would like, but thanks for your participation. Who knows the answer to this? Braulio. Um, yes, I, I like French. Okay, I like French. Mm, something is not correct here. Who can help us? Maria, uh, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. What would you like, French, please? What no. would you like? Okay, French, no. please. No, not really. No. Thank you. <laughs> Fíjese en lo que le preguntaron antes. Le dijo el server. What kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? Entonces, ¿qué le contestará el customer? En otras palabras, el, 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 el waiter, ¿verdad? El, el server, perdón, les está ofreciendo comida y ellos están así como que no quieren mucho, ¿verdad? So, the customer says, again, the question is, what kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? And the customer says, okay, let's see, uh, Ruth Marielos. Uh, teacher, tengo una duda, pero no sé si es good, uh, good like French. I would like French, please. Or simply, I'd like French, please. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what, what about the server? What does the server say? Hi, Mel and I. And would you like what to drink? Would you like what to drink? Um, no, it's a different word, but thank you. I... Mm -hmm. Who can help us with this one, please? Saul Alexander. Eh, lo que digo, siempre los mismos, siempre los mismos. Los que me participan bastante, los felicito mucho. Los que no me están sí. participando, les invito a que lo hagan, okay? And would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you very much. What about Len uh, Wendy? Wendy Lisette, the next one by the customer. Yes, I will have iced coffee. Yes, I will have iced coffee or I'll have iced coffee. That is correct. Thank you. Okay. So what about the next one? The server says with milk and sugar. And the customer says... Hi, me the name? No, okay. Uh, who knows the answer here? Okay, Jaime? Yes, I will. Uh, oh, sorry. No, you have sorry. here sorry. with milk and sugar? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Milk, please? Mm -mm. It's a bit different. Okay, Braulio Riverto. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, um, with milk and sugar, please. <laughs> <laughs> or simply, es que yo entiendo que me está preguntando, ajá, o sea, yo, yo entiendo que me está preguntando si con, si con leche, leche y azúcar, ¿verdad? Entonces, o sea, no sé si hacerla muy corta, solo, yes, please. Mm -hmm. Pero creo que es solo yes, please, teacher. Okay, yeah, it's just yes, please. Only that. Okay. Solo permítanme acá el chat. Híjole. Teacher. Yes. Fíjese que me voy a tener que retirar sí, de Ajá, clase. Eso, eso estoy leyendo. Sí, Está me bien. va a disculpar. No, no Oiga. se preocupe. Ok. Bueno. Ok. All right. Um, 
the next one, the server says anything else? And the customer says, no. Saul. No, thanks. No, thanks. That'll be, mm -hmm. yeah. That'll be all. That'll be all. That's right. Okay, the server says, okay, I'll bring it right away. So the conversation goes like this. The server says, may I take your order? The customer says, yes, I'll have the beef with potatoes. The server says, what kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, blue cheese, or vinaigrette? Uh, the customer says, I'd like French, please. The server says, and uh, would you like something to drink? The customer says, yes, I will have iced coffee. Okay, uh, the server says, with milk and sugar? The customer says, yes, please. The server says, anything else? And the customer says, no, thanks. That'll be all. The server says, okay, I'll bring it right away. I'll bring it immediately. That's the meaning of that. Okay. So now we're going to do this exercise. Choose the correct responses, okay? You have the, the options in the list right here, and the only thing you have to do is select, okay? Okay, so the first one is, what would you like? And then there are three possible answers. I'll be your server today. Yes, I'd like to, and I'll have two cheeseburgers with everything. The only one that is logical and makes sense is the third one. So the answer is, you say, what would you like? The answer is, I will have two cheeseburgers with everything. What about number two? Okay, number two. Uh, Wendy, would you like French fries or salad? I like French fries, please. I like French fries, please. Okay, take a look. Would you like French fries or, well, wait a second. I made a mistake here, okay? Give me a second. Yeah, that answer is correct. I'd like French fries, please. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Luis Fernando, number three. What kind of soda would you like? I'll have a uh, cola. I'll have a cola. Okay, that's right. I'll have a cola. Good. What about the next one? Esmeralda Isabel, then Carla Abigail. So, whoops, ya salió ahí. Okay. Hi. Okay, would you like anything to drink? No, thanks. No, thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Number five, Carla Abigail. Okay. What flavor ice cream would you like? Chocolate, please. Chocolate, please. Okay, that's right. Thank you. Ruth Marielos, okay. Would you like anything else? That'll be all, thanks. That'll be all, thanks. Okay, good. That'll be all. That, that'll be all. That, that'll be all. Eso sería that'll todo. be all, thanks. Okay. That'll be all, thanks. Okay, good. Okay. All right, we have that exercise done. And now this one right here. Let's continue. So complete the conversation. Use the words and expressions in the box. Okay. So let's copy and paste in este caso. Okay, Jaime Adonai. The first one is, there's an example. Sherry says, I feel tired tonight. I really don't want to cook. Uh, Whitney says, neither do I. Say, do you like Thai food? Okay, and they say, it's delicious. It's delicious, favorite king on food. It's delicious, uh, no, it's not favorite kind of food. Sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, so who can help us with this? Please raise your hand. Luis Fernando. Um, it's delicious, I like a lot. I like it a lot, okay? It's delicious, I like it a lot. Yeah, that's correct, thank you. Ruth Marielos, Amaya, what about the next one? Whitney says, I do. Uh... 
I do. I do so. I do so. Mm, no, it's the other word for agreeing. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Saul Alexander. I do too. I do too. Correct. Okay. I do too. Very good. Jaime Adonai. It's me. It's my can extend it. It's my can stand them. No, sorry, Jaime. Let's see, Ruth Marielos. Um, teacher, solo una consulta. Uh, ¿Por qué es tú y no so? No es lo mismo, o el so es el que va antes. Es el que va antes. Y el tú es el que va al final. Uh -huh. Para que sea so, tendría que ser so do I. Ok, ah, ok. Entonces uh -huh. sería, it's my favorite kind, kind of food. It's my favorite kind of food. Yeah, that's correct. It's my favorite kind of food. Great. Claudia Maria Garcia. Okay. Uh, they say, let's call Chiang Mai restaurant for home delivery. Okay. And Sherry says, Claudia Maria. So do I. Uh, so do I. No, well, Sherry says, I'm sorry. Great idea. Their cookies always good. I eat there a lot. And then, mm -hmm. so do I. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Me había saltado la línea. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Um, Wendy Lisette, you're next. Well, what? what would you like tonight? What would you like tonight? Okay, yeah, good. What would you like tonight? Sherry says, I'm in the mood for some soup. And Whitney says, so... Saul? Mm, so... Mm -mm. Let's no, take no. a look. Cherry says, I am in the mood for some soup. So do I. So do I. Mm, no, sorry. But thank you, uh, Claudia Maria. So am I. So am I. Okay. So am I. So am I. ¿Por qué? Porque Sherry dijo, I am, I am in the mood for some help. So am I. Okay. So am I. Thank you. Wendy Lisette, the next one. And I think. I will have a spicy chicken and a special Thai rice. Okay. And I think I will have spiced chicken and special Thai rice. Okay. Good. Wendy Lisette. Sherry says, okay, let's order. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any money with me. And Whitney says. Ruth Maria. I respond, teacher. Who's, ah, Mira. sorry, Wendy, Wendy's responding. No, 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 ya respondí, teacher. I'm La sorry. <laughs> este, neither can ah, I? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I got confused for a second. So you have, I think I will have spicy chicken and special Thai rice. Okay, Wendy said that, okay. But then you have this one. Okay, let's order. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have any money with me. And Whitney said, neither. Neither okay. can I. Neither can I. No, it's not can. If you take a look, you say, I don't have any money with me. I don't have. So you say okay, neither. neither do I. Neither do I. Okay, that's right. Neither do I. Okay, great. Uh, the next one is for Eli. What should we do? Sherry says, well, let's look in the refrigerator. Hmm. I, do I you can like stand. boiled eggs? Huh? I can stand them. I can stand them. Okay. No me gustan para nada. I can stand them. And the last one, uh, Saul. Sherry says, actually... Actually, neither can I. Actually, neither can I. Okay, that's correct. Okay, very good. Actually, neither can I. 
Okay, perfect. All right, so what are we going to do? Let's have a short review. Vamos a dar un pequeño, muy corto repaso sobre esto. Okay, so let's take a look. Esto, ¿verdad? So, to, neither, and either. Tiene que fijarse bien. ¿Cuál es la clave acá? Tenemos que identificar tiempos de verbos y auxiliares. Esa es la clave. So, when you use to and either, okay, this is agreeing. You say, I'm happy. And he says, I am happy too. Okay? The man says, I am not happy. And she says, I am not happy either. Yo tampoco dice, estoy contenta. I am not happy either. So we use to and either at the end of a sentence. You say, for example, uh, sorry, we use to after a positive verb and we use either after a negative verb. So you say, I'm happy. I'm happy too. I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed it too. Jane is a doctor. Her husband is a doctor too. Well, what about the negative form? We use either after a negative verb. For example, I am not, that's negative. I am not happy. The other person says, I am not happy either. Okay. Next, you have, I can't cook. Okay. You say, I can't either. Okay. Bill doesn't watch TV. You say, he doesn't read newspapers either. Very important. So what about this? Using so and neither. I'm happy. He says, so am I. I am not happy. Neither am I. I can sing. She says, so can I. So you can use so and neither and then the auxiliary verb and then the subject to agree. So when you say, so am I, that means I am too. So have I means I have too etc. For example, the, he says, I'm working, so am I. That means I'm working too. I was late for work today, so was Sam. That means Sam was late too. I work in a bank, so do I. I work in a bank too. We went to the movies last night. You say, so did we. We went there too. I'd like to go to Australia. So would we. Nosotros también. So when you use neither am I, that means I'm not either. Neither can I means I can't either, etc. And you have some examples. I don't have a key. You say neither do I. Or you simply say I don't either. The next one is Kate can't cook. Neither can Tom or Tom can't either. I won't be there tomorrow. You say, neither will I, or I won't either. I haven't seen that movie. Neither have I, or I haven't either. And the last one, I'm not married. Neither am I, or I'm not either. Okay, very important to do that. So uh, you have some exercises that we solved about that. I'm not going to do them again, okay, because that uh, will take too long. Okay, this is what we did yesterday also, uh, the pronunciation, which is also important. And then again, you have would and will. Th these are the modal verbs, okay, would and will for requests. So you say, what would you like? I'd like, which is I would like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. So look, after would, you use like. After will, you use have. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have a vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? You say, I'd like an iced tea or I'll have coffee. And the last one, would you like anything else? You say, yes, please. I'd like some water or no, thank you. That'll be all. And remember that the contractions are for uh I will, the contracted form is I'll, and for I would, the contracted form is I'd. There's a difference in pronunciation, right? The first one is I'll, and the second one is I'd. And that's gonna be it, okay? So uh, before we go, let me tell you, tomorrow 
we are going to finish the unit. We're going to finish the section, section number three. Also, there is the midterm, okay? Recuerden que ese midterm tiene que estar resuelto antes de la clase. Creo que incluso por el chat les dan un, una hora límite también. Y que, le, que el programa está hecho para hacer, digamos, lo así autodidacta. Lo que hacemos en la clase es un refuerzo nada más de ello. Así que, por favor, si todavía no han terminado la sección, termínenla. ¿De acuerdo? Porque el día de mañana mandan esa nota ya. Así que necesitan que ya esté todo hecho tras haber completado la unidad 3 y el midterm que aparece inmediatamente después. Igual el día de mañana terminamos de cubrir la unidad y además eh, veríamos el midterm en detalle. Ok. So everybody, thank you for your attention and your participation. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Take good care. Bye, good teacher. Night. Bye, good tomorrow. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. To you. Bye, bye. Good night. Gracias.